Hello everyone <clears throat> and welcome back to my channel, The Sun and Craft with Style. Um, today I'm going to do uh, a clutch, uh, you know, a uh, purse. So, um, and I'm going to do it out of this um, uh, placemat that, you know, you get at the Dollar Tree. Uh, I hate them and I thought, well, that would be a good project to do, you know. Also looking forward to on the holidays. Uh, so I'm going to tell you what I did so far because I, I did, you know, uh, I got ahead of myself again. Uh, what I did was, this is the clutch, okay? So, first thing I did, I just fold it right here, which is right at the corner, right at the corner on either side. I just fold it, okay? And glue it. I'm just gonna do this size first and then I'll do the middle. And you glue it, you know, pretty good. Okay, right there. And that's what this is gonna do, give it more stability at the at, on the on the clock. And then of course just oops. We're gonna just run a little bead or a little line and get the rest of it done. So that's the first thing I did, just to get, and even it out and make it, you know, square. The next thing I did was figure out how much of a, you know, depth I wanted it and so on. And when I did that, and I think that's probably about right, and I can measure it for you to see how much you need to fold, okay? Yeah. Give or take, you know, you can, like I said, you can go, you know, more t uh, upwards, or you can make it lower, however you want it. But I think this is a good basic, you know, clutch depth. So this is about, let's see, six inches. I just fold this six, six inches from here to here, okay? And then I went on the sewing machine and sew on both of the, uh, on top of the top, the, the two little uh, stitching line and reinforce it really good in here with uh, a zigzag, went back and forth, kind of a, almost, not a, not a satin, you know, not a real tight satin stitch, but almost. And then, you know, really good in here. And that's, I know that that's gonna be, you know, staying really good. And then you got your clutch right here, okay? Once I did this, then I line it with my fabric and I'm gonna show you what I did. This fabric, I, I ordered it from uh, May, uh, creating with the tail store, uh, without the pearls, of course. I put the pearls in it. This is fabulous. This is absolutely gorgeous. I think she did, she might have put some on her Tassi Masi uh, kit. I'm not sure, I have to look. Well, let me look real quick, because I had my kit in here. And yes, she did, I think she did. Uh-huh, she did. Anyway, so this is what the fabric, you know, uh, looked like. And at the end of one side of the fabric, it had this beautiful dangling on it, this finish in here. So what I did, I took advantage of it and put it in at the end. And then, uh, you know, cut it in here and there, I brought it into the corners, to the fold, of the uh, right to the you know on this uh, wedge in here that we you know uh, I, I went in and extended up to that point okay on both sides now like I said you have to cut a little bit but I'm not gonna worry about it because we're gonna glue something else on top of it and then what I did I decided I wanted you know a trim so I brought in my trim from here all the way around to about you know with where this ended. Then I put the, uh, glue my, um, my pearls. And for the pearls, what I did, I used that um, uh, Fabric Fusion. Because it did so well on my top, I figure anything you rub it off is not gonna come off as easy if I had put the, you know, glue it with a glue gun. Uh, especially outside when you get a lot of wear and tear, as they say. And, and so I did this, and I did this trim, which I just love. This trim is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And I did it on the inside of it too, 
all the way around it, as you can tell. And then in here, I had this really sweet little um, lace. And the only thing I did to it, I just got the rib off. I didn't like it. I, want, I didn't want the rib in there. I wanted the little scallop kind of a little bit, you know, to show. So I just cut the rib off and glue it on in here. Uh, and basically, that's all I did. Now, what I'm going to do now is uh, I think I want some little bitty pearls in here, okay? And then, on the, like the other side, I'll just put some right in here, okay? So that's what we're going to do right now. And let's see, okay. I want to use these little ones from, you know, on the stream because uh, I don't seem to have any other ones, sorry. But I don't, these little flowers are so tiny that you really don't need much. Now, I'm just going to tuck them in there right now, but I would suggest also, uh, if you can, I have no idea what's wrong with my glue gun today. Okay, it don't want to work. Um, I'm just barely going to tuck them in there right now. But like I say, I suggest you uh, use that um, fabric fusion, which I will later. I'll take I'll take them off and you know redo them and put that uh, because it will stay better. Okay. Uh, this would be great not only for the holidays, you know, but uh, a wedding. Christening, First Communion, whatever it is y'all celebrating, you know. Um, and, uh, whoops. So it's just not for the whole, just really special occasion, you know, you need to go. A very nice dinner, nice restaurant. You know, evening thing too. So you just and I know there's been some of them made, so but I wanted to make my own, so here we are. like I said a few a quick little tutorials what my other uh, bigger tutorials or you know I'm filming them and and since they take a little while to get them done I decided to uh, just do a few little short ones and uh, I know when the cooler weather starts here, I'm, I got a lot of work <clears throat> outside the house I need to get done. And so also in case I don't get too many out by then, then you, at least that you know that I, I'm doing it now. <laughs> the things you gotta do. Sometimes it comes before fun, unfortunately. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the, the ones that, like the, the size that I have on the other side. And for this, I got some flat ones. Let's see if I can just put a little few drops at a time here. There we go. I just thought I gave it, you know, that uh, look. This is a pretty gift too for the bride.
here we go. It just gives a lot more, you know, possess, I guess you can say. Okay. Okay. All right. So my next thing, I had a, a wedding dress that I needed to take some appliques out of and uh, that I had actually made, the wedding dress, and I thought, well, this will look nice in here. And uh, so I had this one, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I happen to have two just like it. So what I'm gonna do on this one, I'm gonna put it on right here. See, that's gonna cover up that area, so I'm not gonna worry too much about it. And it's gonna end up almost to that point, see? Like that, it's gonna go right like this. And that's really gonna give a lot of good, you know, really nice bling bling, a little bit of bling bling there with some sequins. And, and it's been, it, it's been, oh my goodness. When did I made? It's over 20 years old, the, the, the dress uh, that I made. So it, the uh, sequence has got a kind of a old look, kind of turn a little bit of yellow, and I like that. Again, I probably, I'm gonna tack it, just tack it, because when I go back, I wanna do more of the, uh, of the fabric fusion. I don't do it now because as you know, it probably will fall off while I'm working on it and I don't wanna do that. So I will tack it and then I will finish it all better, okay? But uh, like I say, if you're ready to do it all with the uh, glue gun, by all means, there's nothing wrong with it. I just wanna make sure if I'm gonna make it, it's gonna stay. <laughs> That's my motto. <laughs> gonna do see that's gonna turn so pretty this side already makes it look really nice now if you don't have the kind of applique you can put anything you want really but I just happen to have this and I thought perfect that's just something I really do need you know it's gonna work really well in here but just anything you like like I said it, you, you work in you're doing something to please yourself yeah I may not have the exact kind of a fat uh, you know, lace fabric, whatever. But just to give you another idea what you might do with it, okay? Whoops. See, I lost one little one already. Uh, okay, I got the other one. Where is the other Oh, here it is. And see, I got the other one, so that's gonna be, again, perfect to put it on here. When I change my, um, my craft room, uh, that's another thing I'll probably do in the fall and winter too, working on that. And uh, I will uh, have my sewing machine by my craft table then, and uh, then I'll be able to sew and, you know, maybe and do uh, some of the, uh, you know, crafts that you have to sew, I can do that then. Okay, just enough to kind of get me going here. Let's see, yeah. All right, so see, this is what it looks opened, and then this is what it looks all closed. I think it's beautiful. Everything you make is simple. What it makes it really that great impact is 
the fabric you use, the laces you use, the appliques you use. Uh, if you have a, an applique, for instance, that doesn't have anything on them, take your time if you like and put beads on it, put uh, whatever on it. You know, I do that sometimes too. I, I'll go ahead and, and put extra beading uh, if I need to, you know, real quick. And I like to do them by hand. So that's a good project when I'm watching uh, YouTube, actually, or, you know, I'm watching uh, some tutorials. And I can listen and look and at the same time, you know, do some handwork. So that's what anything, even in fashion, uh, fashion, if you look at fashion, really, really good. The lines are very simple. It is the fabric that they use. It's the embellishments that they use. So that's what it makes it uh, something that it costs a dollar for this little, you know, placemat and make it look like a lot more, a lot, a lot more. See what I mean? So it's, I think I was about the fabric and your lace because it's very, very important. Okay, now I got several things that I want to do in here, uh, and I don't, I, I still haven't made up my mind. And I'm trying to think, let's see. Wait a minute, okay, here we go. All right. I could put a flower, you know, it's okay. This is not bad, actually. This would work. See, that's very pretty because it's got a lot of stuff already, and so that would really kind of make it really nice. It's got little dangles. I could do this one, I guess. I th Oops, excuse me. I thought about putting this one also in here and it still looks really nice. Um, the only problem I have is it's more silver and this has got a little more gold looking, you know, sequins. So it still would work. I'm not saying it does not work, you know. I mean, as they say, diamonds goes with everything. Well, you know, I just think if you think this is diamonds, they will go with everything. But I think what I have decided to do in here is actually this applique that I got from uh, Creative with Details uh, store. And uh, what I did, I coffee dyed it because, you know, they're white and it turned out just perfect. So what I want to do is put this in here. But before I put anything else, I want to see what else I want to do to it. Because I do like the dangles. And, and you want the dangles to come not any farther maybe than about half an inch from the, so they won't be, in, you know, uh, it, it won't hang out over the purse, in other words, the clutch. And I have this one again, you know, this is beautiful, but it's silver and I don't like, but then I found one that I had a long time and I think it was a pen originally and I thought, perfect. It's got the colors, it's got almost like a, a what is it, Aurora Borealis, you know, kind of colors in it. It's got all the colors. It's, uh, uh, whoops, excuse me. It picks up the yellow, it's because, and it has the, it's not a silver, silver. It's kind of a, you know, old looking anything, I guess. But it's more to the gold than it is the silver. So I think that's gonna it, end it for me. Uh, although I still like, you know, like I say, I like this one also. See, to me, that's very pretty. You know, I may go with that one because to this one here, it kind of goes with it and it's so much up this uh, um, pearls and, you know, um, you know, sequin and stuff like that. And maybe it needs something a little simpler. You still got a little dangles in here. I can cut that off, so that's not a problem. So, uh, I'm gonna have to think about that one, don't I? I really do, uh, because I like it. I really do like it. I just, uh, and I like this one too. But I don't know, I think I like the other one now better. And I thought about putting this one and this one on the top also, you know, but then you hide it. So why put it there, you know? Um, so what I might do is go ahead and put this one and make me some little beading, you know, like this, and then just hang them in there and glue them on. So I think that's probably what I'm gonna do because I do love this. I love, love, love it. So, uh, and I don't have, 
I like it, like I said, but at the same time, uh, it doesn't quite all do it for me. So I think really after looking at it, and I'm looking at it also in the video, I think this is gonna be it. Look at this. I think this is gonna be it. And like I said, what I'll do is I will cut this little dangle, maybe put it up higher somewhere else. And uh, I'm gonna do that right now, actually. So what I'm going to do is do this. Let's see. I may just bring it up here, see? I think that's what I'll do. Okay? And then that way, uh, I mean, I could do it. No, I think I like it up there. Like that. Yeah. I think I do. Let me see if I like it better in this end in here. Well, I like it there too, don't I? Maybe I'll do that over here. See, we just, it's just placing it and doing it. And sometimes we just cannot make up our mind, folks. So uh, I think I'll do that, and I'll just gonna go ahead and put it in there. Whoops. And then that way, when it's in the, uh, let's see, let me put some more. And what I probably do when I glue it, I probably, I have a little flowers here and there, and I know I have one just like this one. I may just go ahead and, and glue it right on the top, and that way it will cover up the, uh, you know, this piece in here, and it will look nice. So this is what I'm going to do. I've made up my mind. And the stone has gold in it. It has a pink, uh, a real soft pink um, stone, and of course the little white rhinestones around it. So this is gonna look, in the long run, it's gonna look so much better. And here it is. I like it, and that's what I'm gonna do. And the heaviness of all of this, you don't need um, no, no Velcro, you don't need anything. So, um, okay. Make sure I get plenty in there. I'm gonna have to get up to do this because you know me, I have to see what I'm doing. Okay, see that's gonna paint just right. It's not gonna go below the, the clutch. So I like that. Okay, there we go. In the back and you don't need anything else in the back because you know you're going to be carrying it like you know and this is probably against your you know your clothes so you don't really need anything else but I think it turned out beautiful I'm really really happy with like I said the lace fabric and let me I'm gonna show it to you real quick what it looks like without anything because uh, I didn't get a chance to make a tutorial of my on my kit for the uh, Tassie Massey, but you will see it uh, on May's channel. But see, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's just beautiful. And that's what you want. You want something that has, that looks rich, that looks, uh, you know, it hangs well. It's just, uh, like I said, that's what it makes you anything. Uh, so, and it don't have to be expensive. You know, like I say, you can go, I go uh, bargain hunting all the time. Not only that, I, uh, in Goodwill, thrift shops and stuff like that, and this is how I, I get a lot of my stuff. Uh, it just happened, like I said, this is, um, this was actually uh, a, um, a wedding dress that I've made and uh, the wedding didn't go well and so it was no sentimental reason so I, I got it back and uh, and it's great um, 
and I'm, I can use it now and really make it something fresh and, you know, good. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and until next time, stay well, stay crafty and God bless you.